With uh, Oregon U.S. Senator Ron Wyden, and uh, as more candidates announced for the Democratic nomination, how many is too many? Are there too many candidates running? Ken, somebody came up to me at Fred Meyer the other day and said, Ron, are you the only person in the Senate not running for president? <laughs> Look, we Democrats like choices, and I think obviously the stakes are so high that mm -hmm. you're going to get a lot of different viewpoints, and that's good. Yeah. Do you have any, I don't know if you can say, do you have any favorites so far? I mean, there are so many, and I know you probably respect a lot of them. I do, and a lot of them are talking to me, for example, about the issues that mm -hmm. uh, I've focused on on the Senate Finance Committee. We have jurisdiction over something like $2 trillion worth of health care spending, and I've been making the point that right at the center of this campaign has got to be holding down costs. That's what people want, is holding down health care costs. Mm -hmm. And you would assume that uh, Joe Biden would enter the race, ultimately. That was more than just a little slip there. Maybe that was a preview of his I would be very surprised if uh, Senator Biden did not run, but this has been a year full of surprises, and mm -hmm. um, certainly we've talked to all of the candidates, particularly about what I was doing. Uh, this morning at the, the pharmacy in southeast Portland, uh, and that's um, stopping this price gouging on uh, pharmaceuticals. And Senator Grassley, he's the Republican senator from Iowa. He and I are teaming up, and we're going after the middlemen that are jacking up the prices. We're going after list prices, which are really the sticker uh, price. And then we're not buying this idea that all the price hikes are due to research and development. Mm -hmm. I just think that's a bunch of eyewash. Well, because it's a lot cheaper if you go to, like, what, Canada and some other well, countries. What happened with the executives, I asked one of them, I said, look, you're charging people in uh, Germany and France a lot less than you are um, in the United States. Why is that? Mm -hmm. And he said, well, it's due to research and development costs. And then I held up their uh, company's security and exchange statement. And I said, you get a bonus, sir, when you jack the prices up. That's what the problem is. Mm -hmm. And he didn't have much to say about that. What do you think the federal government should do in terms of being involved in uh, fighting wildfires here in the West? Uh, we've had a couple of bad years of wildfire season. Uh, should the states be more involved in taking the lead? Ken, there's some good news for your viewers, and I'm glad that you asked about it. A law that Mike Crapo and I, he's the Republican senator from Idaho, will be taking effect in just a few months, early in the fall when the new fiscal year starts. And what it will do is ensure that in the future, the focus will be fire prevention. In the past, what's happened is the government, when there's a big fire, uh, raised the prevention fund to put the fire out, and the problem gets worse. Under what Senator Crapo and I have written, in the future, the big fires will be fought from the disaster fund. We'll have more of a focus on prevention. That is some really good news coming to Oregon, where we have just been clobbered by these fires over the last few years. Yeah, yeah our producer yeah. is telling us uh, that we need to wrap, but I just want to ask you quickly about uh, what's happening with Boeing. Uh, the last accident, there's been some talk that maybe the FAA, the federal government, should get involved in investigating the private company Boeing. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I'm, I'm troubled at this point. I'm not on the committee, so I don't have all the details, but I'm troubled by what appears to be the proposition that we got there pretty late, that other countries seem to be out in front, and that's something that ought to be uh, front and center in any congressional hearings. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Always a pleasure seeing you. And Thanks it sounds like you're going to get a, a day off here, maybe take the kids up to Mount Hood or something. We're going to see the Blazer game tonight. We're going to get to see Ennis Cantor. So we're uh, okay. Very good. Okay. Very good. Cool. Thank well, you very much. You're here for some good weather, it sounds yeah. like, right?